Okay, gonna give you the rundown on how to clean the fish tank. So you're gonna start by cleaning the glass, which you use this uh, magnetic tool. I keep it loose. Every time you're done with it, since it's salt water, it has a stainless steel razor blade, so you wanna rinse it out with water. You unscrew this to loosen it up, rinse it with water, and then it dries out and it's not a, as harmful to the stainless steel razor blade. It keeps it in better shape for longer. So before you clean it, you'll need to re-tighten that back up. So screw that tight, and then you're ready to go. So this is how I do it. Um, I like to take and put this towards the front of the tank and start over there. And the best way to keep it, when you put this in the water, it floats. So it's gonna wanna start, just with the current of the water, it's gonna wanna start floating around. So I like to put it as far in the front corner uh, where the drain is so that it keeps it from moving around. So I'll show you how I do that. So I put that up in there and then run around to the front. And you'll grab it with the magnet. So once you have the magnet on there, you can move it around. The main thing to watch out for this is, you know, you'll, you'll work around any little critters that are in here. And you want to stay away from the gravel. The gravel will actually get into the, the fibers of the, of the cleaner and it could scratch the glass. So you want to avoid that. Okay, now we're going to get the water ready for the tank. I apologize for the wreck we are moving. So it's uh, got a lot of stuff in here, but hopefully this will at least show you what you need to do when it comes to changing the water. So there is a pre-measured container inside the bucket of salt. And you'll need one full level, one of these for each five gallon container of water. So what I do is take it, level it off, and then just pour that into each container. A little more or a little less doesn't hurt anything. So once you have the salt in the containers, We'll take and use this hose, which is connected to the uh, RO water holding tank. And you'll just siphon some out and, and put it into the tank. So I put my hand over it so you're not putting your mouth on the hose that's out here in the garage and then just siphon the water. There we go. So I do this once every two weeks. So you'll do 10 gallons water change every two weeks. That keeps the tank nice and healthy and clean. And then once this second container is full, there's a shutoff valve, I'll show you that. So we're getting close to full, move that over here. I like to leave it down from the top a little bit just so you don't fill up too much. And then as this one fills up, cap this one off and you could shake it. And get that salt shaking around inside there. And then as you can see it's starting to get close to being full so I'm going to come up here to the shutoff valve and get to about that point and then I'll turn it off. You could go to fish stores and they have pre-mixed salt water uh, that you could get, but usually that's for purchase and we found this to be more inexpensive and cost effective. So I cap that one off and then we'll, we'll take that inside. You'll need to take the two five gallon containers of water and a bucket uh, to take some of the filters out in. Okay, so now we're gonna change the filters. This is called a sock. This gets rid of the fine particulates in the tank. And then there's two other filters. I'll show you where those go. So you're gonna start by draining the water. And uh, I've got it marked where you need to drain the water too. But before you do that, you need to turn the water off, the, turn the pump off to the tank. So if you come over here, you can see it's this button right here, the bottom test button. And turn that off and that'll turn off the water from flowing inside the tank. There's still another pump inside there's a protein skimmer 
and another filter that's still going, so you'll hear those going and that's normal. Uh, you don't need to worry about those. Um, I like to do the water change right after I finish cleaning the glass because then you get some of those other contaminants out of the water at the same time. So we have this hose. This is what is used to get the water out. And there's a drain conveniently located here inside this cabinet that you could drain the water into. So what I like to do is stick this over to the side. Just right over here, it's out of the way. It's not rubbing up against the corals or bothering anything. And then you'll siphon this water and put it into that drain. Okay, so the water's draining at this point. That'll take a couple minutes. Usually while that's draining, I like to change the, the other filters out while I'm waiting. So I'll show you how to do that. Start by taking off the top of the protein skimmer, and I'll show you later how to clean that out. And get your bucket. Take off the small square filter, and it has a hole inside of it that goes on top of the pump power head. So I'll stick this inside here, put that back into its place. Then take out the long rectangular filter, put that in your bucket. Replace it with the clean one. And then I'll tip the protein skimmer over on the side a little bit so I can get into the sock filter. So you get to the sock, it has this little clamp attached to some strings, and you just pull that off of this PVC pipe, pull it out, put that in your bucket, and you can set that out of the way. And then the other sock has loops in this string that you can attach back to that clip that holds it into place. So put that in there and then reach over here and put these two loops through this clip and you're good to go with the sock filter. Stand the protein skimmer back up where it needs to go. And now let's take a look up here. We're about to the water line. I've got a mark on the wood right here. That's where you want to stop taking water out. That's 10 gallons. So as you can see, we're right to that point. We'll just stop that. I like to turn this hose up so that it drains out the rest of the way into the drain tube. Wrap that up and put it back in here for later use. And now we're going to close this cap to the drain pipe. And then we're going to push this button here to turn the water back on. So it's the, the reset button. So I did that and now the water is starting to fill back into the tank. So now that is draining. This is called the sump tank down here. So now that sump tank is draining, we need to fill it with the water that we just filled up with new RO water and salt. So you tip this over. Got the first one, followed by the second one. Okay, that's it for the water change. So we'll close this up after I show you how to clean the protein skimmer. Okay, so with the protein skimmer, just run a little lukewarm water in there and you're just gonna clean off this film. This is what really keeps the fish tank clean and healthy. It takes all that extra material out of there. You clean that out, then you clean out the inside of this little chamber. First couple times I did this, remember thinking that's kind of gross. I think I used some rubber gloves, but okay. eventually you get to the point where it doesn't bother you too much. But anyways, main point of it is to get this cleaned out.
And then you can put this cap back on and we'll just walk back over and I'll show you how to put this back on. Okay, we got the protein skimmer. It's as simple as click it into place there and then that's done. Okay, so uh, one thing I forgot to mention is the RO uh, fil the RO container has a water shutoff valve. So if you look over here, once you're done filling the two five gallon containers, you're gonna need to turn this on. So it's this with this little white clear hose with the white cap. So turn that on. So now that's refilling the uh, RO water container out here. And it'll take around six hours. So you could set a timer. It has a float turnoff valve, but since the RO water fills so slowly, it doesn't shut it off fast enough. So it does leak a little bit of water if you're not careful. So I usually like to either set it uh, before I go to bed and uh, turn it off on my way to work in the morning, or if you do it in the morning, just keep an eye on it and turn it off in the afternoon. For cleaning the filters, you don't want to use any detergents. You'll just take and put those into your washing machine and add about a capful approximately of bleach, not too much. And then wash that, just kind of a light load, wash and rinse, and then the uh, filters will be ready for two weeks, the next two weeks when you go to change your water. So uh, that's everything. Of course, if you have any questions on it, feel free to reach out to us. Thanks.